All right, I put out a little poll on YouTube in the uh, community section about would you like to see me nap a little irregular chunk of obsidian into something? So I'm going to try that. But, uh, my tools are kind of not doing so good. So um, I think I'm mostly going to use indirect on this with maybe a little bit of pressure flaking. Let's see, where is my pressure flaker? So, a grinding stone, some leather, pressure flaker, an indirect stick, and I think that is good. I'm gonna use this as a, the indirect billet instead of the moose antler. A little too heavy duty for obsidian. All right, uh, John, I'll jump right into it. So I can start with indirect. I'm gonna thin it, hit right here. My uh, copper nail is loose. I need to put a new one in there. So this might take a little bit of, of work. All right, clean that up pretty quick. See one more spot right there. Okay. So we're gonna keep it a little thick. See, I just took three flakes right there. Grind there. See that? Okay. They're flying almost the entire way across. See it hung up there? If you get it hung up like that. Sometimes you could just pick it out. If not, it'll come out on the next strike. Strange little hinge. All right, come in from the other side. That got rid of it. If you have little bits of obsidian like this, you can make points to hunt with from it. Just gotta make sure it's uh, legal, legal size and legal in your state. All right, switch to some pressure flaking now. Actually, let's put the camera right there. Let's 
See that? Um, take some flakes off the other side. See that? So like if you guys go to a napping and you want to grab other nappers uh, scraps, you could do like this. Alright, I am going to do a few more indirect here. Just a thin, you can see it's kind of thick there. Made it a little too thin. All right. One more spot. See what it did there? All right. I'd say it is getting a little too thin now. So we will go to pressure flaking. And I'm gonna um I'm gonna use a thicker piece of leather. Just cause uh the obsidian sometimes goes right through the goat leather. Just finish shaping it up. spot here I could probably do an indirect but I don't want to um, I don't want to make it too thin see that the Sun is kind of pressure flaked that off you could see it ran from here to the center Not too bad. When I first started, um, I would do this on obsidian and glass, and I got really good at uh, working these little tiny pieces like that. Spot's annoying me. So we got a basic point shape now. Straighten it out a little bit. I would recommend wearing goggles, working obsidian, cause bug. Because if you get this stuff in your eye, it's not a fun time gotten it in my eye before I am lucky all right just shaping up the base like that Sharpen the tip. I don't like that.
There we go. Now this tool is a little thick for putting notches in, but I'm going to put notches in anyway. It's a little irregular shaped piece of obsidian made into a point you could hunt with. Just show some of you new guys that if you get flakes from other nappers, you can practice on them. You can make nice points out of it. Sharpen up the tip just a little more. one spot at the tip. There we go. Alright, I like to um, kind of square off the barbs. Like that. And get a nice little finished obsidian point. Okay, that's it for me. See you guys.